Hey beauty queens, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a review on a 360 wig from Super B Wigs. This wig is 20 inches. I'm going to be doing a little cute little ponytail for y'all. Showing y'all how to do the install from start to finish. You already know. We're going to get right into it. This is it. This is the full view, the front and the back. That is my client. We already put her ball cap on. Y'all need to know how to do that. But um, the wig hairline was already pre-plucked which i did appreciate that but the back bro like the back was not pre-plucked i had to go in and really pluck that bad boy because it was looking crazy um i actually could have plucked it a little bit more but they did a real good job so we didn't have to do too much in the front but like i said the back you need to have you need to know how to pluck because the back needed to be plucked and also this is another thing i don't know if you guys know but these full lace wigs or 360 wigs they come with the straps in the back like the strap that's already on the wig i take those straps out because you want your wig to be able to sit as flat as possible but when it's not when the piece is in there it's very hard to do that so let's go ahead and cut her ears out that's the first thing i'm gonna do i always lay the front down first and then we move on to the back Then, of course, you take your adhesive and you're going to do your layers, however many, across the front first and then move on to the back. I never used to want to ask my clients to help me do absolutely anything, but from me doing so many wigs, um, I need the help. Like, I need them to help me hold. In order for it to get in place, I do not work with an assistant and I don't really believe you should have all these people hovering over your client so you're gonna need help with this install like you're gonna need your clients participation so the wig is actually too big for my client um you want to make sure that when you put the wig on you pull it all the way so that it's like flat you don't want to have any type of bulkiness when you're trying to do the ponytail. So as you can see, I'm pulling on it because I need to see where, how much I have to get rid of. That's why that little piece in the back is crucial that you get rid of it. Because it just is in the way. So I have a um, tool that I use to take it out. It comes out very easy, but you just have to be very careful that you don't cut the lace. So now we put our glue on. And now we need this to hold the front and the back. Our glue is not completely clear. But that's okay, because that's another thing that I've learned from working. It's going to turn clear eventually, so it can start drying. You don't have to wait till it gets completely clear to put the lace on top. As long as you don't continuously pick at it, move it around, it's going to still turn clear. So I tied the beauty band around it. And now we about to take it off and see what it's looking like so we can get rid of the excess lace.
I'm this kind of girl. Like, I will put a wig on and leave it like this and just leave it messy, not do too much to it. I love it when it looks like this, but this looks so good already. We didn't even get our ponytail in. If you have a really good foundation, whatever you do to the wig is going to look nice. As long as your work is neat and all is, as long as your foundation is solid, the style is always going to look good. Before your wig, you start tugging on the wig. Just make sure it's secure down. Make sure the glue is dry enough for you to start, you know, pulling and putting it into the ponytail because you do not want it to start lifting. So make sure all around, you know, everything is good. Um, I don't want it to look too slick. I still want it to look pretty natural. Um, I do this a couple times, like I start to mold, then I take the ponytail out, I mold again, you know, until it's perfect the way that I want it to be. This hair was so easy to work with. Um, it did not get tangled. Um, the ponytail took no time to do. Um, it's a cute, quick style, you know, the, after you get past the install, When do y'all think baby hairs are going to, like, go away? Like, when it's going to be, like, a thing? Like, oh, y'all remember when we used to wear baby hairs? Because I feel like it's never going away. Everybody wants them.
so my flat iron, not my flat iron, my hot comb conked out on me, y'all. So I had to get to going with my blow dryer and my regular comb to get this little piece as flat as possible. That was my favorite hot comb. Like, I'm a little tight. Now you go ahead, you tie them drawings down a little bit for a little bit of time while you do the rest of your style. So while I do the ponytail, like complete the ponytail because it's not done, I'm going to take it out, do it over again. And then I'm going to curl the front and then we're going to be all done. look we're all done we finished i did not use any extra hair for the ponytail um i thought i was gonna need to but the wig is pretty full this is super b wigs 20 inch 360 wig um follow them on instagram youtube the information will be in the bottom in the description um, the direct link for this wig will be in this description as well. And you guys, let me know what you think. Like, let me know if you like, like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, we'll be back soon. Follow Beauty by Day on Instagram. Book your appointments, ladies. And I will see you guys soon.